But the number of things is probably how much uh, hard work they were prepared to put in to, to get where we needed to go. Probably the other one was their, their ability to, to connect and have fun. The, the footy environment's obviously a pretty tough sort of environment to deal with week in, week out, but the great thing about it is the players, regardless of win, loss or draw, they'd always come on with a smile on their face and prepared to do the work that was required and they're a great bunch of guys to coach. Look, all we can worry about is what we can control and you know we spoke about this openly last year about our process. If we play our best footy, we're, we're capable of beating, beating anyone. Um, we are like 17 other clubs, we're all probably trying to endeavour to, to win that Premiership flag. What happened in 2017 doesn't have any bearing on season 2018. So from our point of view, we, we start again. Um, we understand how we play and what we do and we know if we bring our best, we're a, we're a good chance to win more games than not. From a coach, it's, it's pretty easy. It feels like it's about six years ago, to be, to be honest. Um, on the Monday after the grand final, we've just played on the set that we're having interviews with every single player over the next Monday and on the Monday and Tuesday. So you move on pretty quickly in AFL circles. And, and the thing about our players is, as we speak about it, listen, be very humble about what we've achieved, but also understand, be very hungry. Um, you know, understand that our season starts again this year and we've got that same appetite to win every game. So we, we acknowledge what we've done, but more importantly, we know uh, we acknowledge what we're about to do again this year, so we move forward pretty quickly. Sean Grigg has got a natural footy brain. He's probably the, the, the most footy smart player we have on our list. Jack Revolt will kill me uh, hearing me say that, but Jack, Jack's probably the other one that you know, he's got incredible football knowledge, sees the game really well and, and probably is a coach waiting to happen also. So probably the two I'd say are, are Sean Grigg and, and Jack Rewalt. Now, season 2017, we, we probably weren't the best side over the course of the year. We are probably the best side for the last six or seven weeks. Um, defensively, we were always very sound. We thought we were very good in that part of our game and our contested nature of our game throughout the year. Probably the one area we didn't really click until the last six or seven round was offensively. Um, we started to get that back up and going. So I think our biggest improvement once again is, is through our offence. It wasn't uh, to, the, to the level of our other parts of our game, so that's an area we'll continue to, to improve. But in all seriousness, we'll be continuing to put a lot of time in our defensive and our contested method going forward. It's very hard to, to limit myself to one. What I have got a habit of, I will read two or three books at the same time, and I very rarely finish a book, which is a, a very bad habit of mine. Um, I really enjoy autobiographies. Probably one of the best ones I've read uh, was by a gentleman by the name of Pete Carroll, who coaches the Seattle Seahawks, that I really enjoyed. But look, I've got a lot of books I enjoy. Um, mainly ones about the stories that, that, that people have and what comes to bear them success or their life story really so there's probably too many to mention. The one thing I will say Mark is that Dustin every season that I've seen him play which is his whole career actually when I think about it he's improved every year. Um, considering he was the, the best player in the league last year emphasized by the Brownlow medal Norm Smith our, our best and fairest it's hard to see where he improves but the great thing about Dustin is he comes with an area that he'd like to improve year in, year on, year out. I think of one area straight away that he's probably his marking inside 50 could, could improve. I haven't seen him actually take a specky at all. I haven't seen him get off the ground trying to take a mark, to be honest. So that will be a highlight for me this year if he can actually get that part into his game. He's going on well. He had a plate removed from his foot on Tuesday. Um, that plate was there to stabilise the joint. That's now now happened, and uh, it's amazing the freedom he now has back into his foot. So he'll start his, his rehab process again. Um, he's not allowed to sweat for a couple of days, so the the internal stitches and the external stitches have time to heal. But um, he'll be a little way away. So you've got to remember he's had a pretty significant injury. He's a very important player for us going forward for the, for the long term future as well, so we'll take it pretty slowly with Daniel, but he's going well at this stage.
Um, they're both very high draft picks, they're both very capable players. Um, they've got a fair bit of work to do picking up the system and the, the rigours of the AFL system, but the thing I love about those two boys is their ability to work. Um, they love football, uh, they love spending time at the club. So those two will be, will be pushing at various stages, I would imagine. Um, it probably won't be early, we'll take them a little bit of time, but I'd be disappointed if they haven't started to put their hand up midway through the year, because I think they're both going to be fine players for us. Probably the first thing I have Hayden is, uh, is two coffees, which is probably a little bit of a bad habit of mine. But then I'd probably, uh, after I've taken the dogs for a bit of a walk, we'll come back and um, tuck into a, a, a bowl of wheat bix So that's, uh, that's my norm on game day. Look, at this stage, we'll probably say the side that finished the grand final last year will be the side to start. We're sort of waiting for, for one of those players to, to jump up. Um, in saying that, uh, maybe Old Child has shown some really good signs, Callum Moore has shown some good signs. Been really impressed with the work of Van Soldo has put in over the course of the summer. Um, so one of those guys may, may jump up at some stage. We're uh, approaching the practice match stage of our training now, so we'll, uh, we'll wait and see. So we're not set in stone at the moment, but they're going to be pretty hard place to, uh, to push those guys out of the side at the minute.